Another impact would have been that it empowered students. It showed that they could use civil disobedience as kind of great equalizer to give them leverage to, uh, to be counted, to, to, to have their perspectives counted in university decision making. So the lecturer on Tuesday was author Robbie Cohen, who wrote Freedom's Orator, which is this year's book for On the Same Page. This year, the deans decided that the theme for On the Same Page would be the 50th anniversary of the free speech movement because it's such an important um, milestone in our campus's history. And it's set right here in Berkeley, so we figured our students would be really interested in reading about a student just like them, a new student at Berkeley who got actively engaged and actually changed the campus and change the world and it's just so inspiring. Well every um, year with On the Same Page we try to choose a, a book that, whose author is still alive and we invite the author out to give a, a talk because we want the students to be exposed to the author directly and so many students get excited to read, meet an author in person and maybe get his autograph on their book and just hear a little bit more of the insights that are not in the book. But Professor Robert Cohen's lecture we had some free speech movement veterans in the audience including Jack Rady, who's been tabling with Professor Cohen and his students on Sproul Plaza this month, which is exciting. And we had Jack Weinberg, who was in the police car the day that Mario stood on top of the police car and made one of his famous speeches. I hear that that kind of echoes of the free speech movement. The idea that students, you may not have an advanced degree yet, but you can read, you can think, you can act, and you, can, you, can, you should have your voice should be heard. And I think there's an assumption there that students know at least as much as the regents, and maybe more.